Hello WASA, it's that time of year again where we publish our annual report. You can see here the 2022 annual report on all the pages of it. And upon review, we really questioned how many people get the opportunity to sit and read that. And so this year we're gonna try something different. We're gonna do a video annual report and publish it to our social media pages with a hope that it's uh, more engaging and more inviting for the community to learn more about what we do and why we do it. So what would be great is if uh, the Wausau community just took a few minutes, sat back, relaxed, and learned a little bit about us uh, and uh, watch our videoed annual report. Hello everyone, my name's Matt Barnes. I'm the uh, chief of the Wassa Police Department. Um, I've been in this position for a very short period of time, but I've been with the Wassa Police Department for my entire career. I just started my 25th year at the Wassa Police Department and I've had the, the privilege to serve in many of the positions we have here from patrol officer to drug investigator, detective, lieutenant, captain, deputy chief. And now uh, I have the opportunity to serve as chief. Um, I entered this position in September of 2023, and significant change has occurred throughout the police department since then. Um, what's exciting about that is opportunities for all of our incredibly high achieving individuals here to be able to, to lead. And that's something that's very important to us here at the police department. Now, you're gonna see throughout this annual report, lots of our staff sharing with you what, you, what we do and why we do it. Um, from, from the chief seat, um, my responsibility is to look at what are the challenges facing Wausau and how to allocate resources here to try and, to try and solve those issues or those problems. The, the first challenge with that is having the appropriate staff, and that's something I just want to tell you. I'm very confident we have the right people in the right positions and hire such high quality individuals that that portion of the equation is, is solved but it doesn't change the fact that we're still dealing with things that really impact the quality of life in this community. Crimes such as um, impaired driving, OWI, um, traffic enforcement to reduce crashes, sexual assault investigations, domestic violence investigations, and occasionally we have um, really violent crimes here, homicides that our staff have to investigate. So we have to focus on having the skills and the staff available to investigate those types of crimes. But the quality of life in this community is part of our mission statement. Our mission is to partner with the community to enhance the quality of life. And in order to do that, we need to be in touch with this community and understand, you know, what are the real threats to our way of life here in Wassa? And, and when we see things that are impacting the quality of life, it's our responsibility to go to the policymakers and try and come up with solutions. But at the end of the day, um, we're a police department, we enforce the laws, we have great staff working here that really care about this community. I care about this community and want it to have a prosperous future where people feel safe and are safe, and, and that's what we're gonna to continue to work on in 2024. 2023 was an eventful year of personnel changes. We were excited to add nine new officers to our department, and all of those officers have since joined their peers patrolling the streets of Wausau. And additionally, we have a new law enforcement computer technician and a crisis professional join our department. We're confident that all of them will be great additions to our community. And with the addition of new officers, we also had to say goodbye to some longtime staff members. First of all, Chief Ben Bliven moved on to pursue additional opportunities after 23 years with the department. Patrol officers Dean Talg and Sandy Hunt, they retired after decades of dedicated service to the citizens of Wausau. School Resource Officer Kevin Cornell retired after 30 years of service, and many of those years were spent working in the schools. Lieutenant Cord Buckner also retired after nearly 30 years of law enforcement work, spanning patrol, investigations, and administrative duties. And finally, we said farewell to law enforcement computer technician Cheryl Stevie, who served the city for 27 years. All these individuals will be missed, and we wish them well in their future endeavors. We also had several promotions and lateral moves within the department during 2023. We have a new chief, a new deputy chief, and a new captain. We were able to promote five new lieutenants and a new detective. And we saw Captain Melinda Pauls move to the patrol captain position. 
Change definitely is a constant in any organization and in all facets of our life, and we're excited about the opportunities that these changes bring to the department. 2023 was an exciting and eventful year for the members of the Patrol Bureau, especially me, Melinda Pauls, the new patrol captain. Our patrol officers are the backbone of the Wausau Police Department, providing essential police services 24 hours each day. Most citizens' first contact with our agency is through interacting with a uniformed patrol officer. In 2023, this may have been through one of the more than 6,500 traffic stops conducted by our patrol officers, or one of the over 1,100 traffic crashes responded to. Perhaps you had the chance to speak with an officer at one of our city's special events, or at a concert on the 400 block. Or maybe you got to know our officers a little better by watching one of the many videos on Facebook or YouTube. Regardless of how, our officers are always making connections with our community while providing excellent service, responding to almost 4,100 calls for service. During 2023, we saw major advancements in technology to assist our patrol bureau and department in their daily activities. We hired a new law enforcement computer technician, Kylie Marshall, who assists our officers with the technical aspects of their job, including keeping equipment up to date, hardware and software functioning in the squads, and all of our computers up to date. During the year, we also received replacement squads for eight of our aging units, including four new Dodges. We renewed a five-year contract with Flock Safety for the 20 automated license plate reading cameras located on major thoroughfares in the city of Wausau. Flock Safety has proven to enhance our ability to provide exceptional police service to the citizens of Wausau. It takes a special person to commit themselves to the highest professional standards that we adhere to. Wausau is very fortunate to have outstanding men and women who comprise the Wausau Police Department. It is a great privilege to serve in the Patrol Bureau of the Wausau Police Department. The work of our patrol staff keeps our streets safe, demonstrates a commitment to apprehending criminal suspects, and enhances the overall quality of life in Wausau. The Investigations Bureau plays a crucial role in addressing the community's complex crime and quality of life concerns. Its core responsibilities encompass major criminal investigations, digital forensics, crime scene processing, school engagement, and victim support. The Bureau's structure has evolved over the years, adapting to new programs, priorities, and has led to departmental reorganization. Notably, in 2023, certain programs addressing mental health, homelessness, and substance misuse were transferred to the Administrative Bureau, while the Investigations Bureau retained its focus on core investigative functions. Comprising detectives, school resource officers, and a specialized victim assistance unit, the Bureau consists of 17 dedicated employees. Each member brings unique skills and perspectives, contributing to a dynamic and effective investigative force. A significant improvement in 2023 was the overhaul of detective workspaces, providing a more private and conducive environment for focused work. This upgrade addressed long-standing issues of privacy and noise pollution, enhancing the effectiveness of investigative efforts. One of the Bureau's most pressing challenges is the ongoing battle against drug overdoses, which have emerged as a significant public health concern in recent years. While there has been some stabilization in overdose responses, the Bureau remains steadfast in its efforts to combat this epidemic. This includes not only conducting thorough investigations into individual cases, but also collaborating with community partners to implement preventive measures and support initiatives aimed at addressing the root causes of substance misuse. In 2023, general detectives handled approximately 200 cases with top investigative types including fraud, sudden death, and various assaults. Major cases involved domestic incidents and assaults, some with a firearm, resulting in arrests that underscore the Bureau's commitment to justice. Now, the Bureau's track record included high-profile convictions from previous year's cases, highlighting its dedication to upholding the principles of accuracy, due process, and community service. The Investigations Bureau stands as a testament to the passion and dedication of its members, who tirelessly strive to ensure the safety and well-being of the community they serve. For a more in-depth look at the Investigations Bureau, including a synopsis of major cases and information from Bureau programs like School Resource Officers and the Victim Resource Unit, check out the digital version of this year's annual report. Hello, WASA. I'm Nathan Seiler, the Administrative Bureau Captain for the WASA Police Department. This bureau includes staff serving within the Records Bureau, the Crisis Assessment Response Team, the Community Resource Unit, members of the Central Wisconsin Narcotics Task Force, Animal Control, Parking Control, and Community Outreach. 
In 2023, we saw a continued increase in the Records Bureau in open records requests, many of which include requests for body camera and squad video. This year, we are excited for implementing some new software that will assist us with open records workflow and tracking. As you may know, WASA Police Department is accredited through the Wisconsin Law Enforcement Accreditation Group, also known as WileyAG. February 2023 marked another three-year cycle in which WileyAG renewed our accreditation, which requires considerable effort by our administrative staff to gather all the documentation necessary to prove our compliance with the 200 plus best practice standards. The Community Resource Unit saw some transition this past year with promotion of two members, bringing us two new team members that start in 2024. Over the last few years, I have really enjoyed helping implement new information technology capabilities and workflow within our department. I'm really excited for what's on our horizon as far as how we can leverage that technology to create efficiencies for our staff. Uh, applicants seeking to join us here on our team often tell us about what has drawn them to our profession. And at the top of this list are things like being able to engage with citizens and help solve problems in a variety of interactions every day. Their primary motivations don't include things like logging to multiple software applications, writing reports, proofreading, filling out forms, logging data, and handling information distribution. So with technology, we hope to maximize the amount of time that our officers have available to engage with our citizens and provide high quality service. So I really look forward to more opportunities to automate and streamline our staff's behind the scene tasks and reporting obligations so that our officers and their supervisors can have more freedom to be active in what they and you all really want them doing the most. Our team members regularly encounter unique investigations and problems that don't necessarily have a previous path or solution to follow. So I'm really grateful for our people and their desire and capacity to innovate and craft new ideas and strategies to tackle any fresh problem. I also appreciate the humility they bring to that as they carry out those ideas and their commitments to our citizens. Hi, I'm John Phillips. I'm the lead tactical instructor for the Wausau Police Department. One of the responsibilities of the lead tactical instructor is to review and track use of force incidents. We define use of force as any physical force used beyond compliant handcuffing. We break these use of forces into 16 different categories and other circumstances to help us identify trends, training needs, and equipment needs. Each report is reviewed by a lieutenant. It is then also reviewed by me or one of two other lieutenants who are also use of force instructors. We're reviewing these reports not only to ensure that the use of force was justified, but also that it falls within department policy as well as best practices and training and standards. We also use these reviews to identify situations where coaching or additional training may benefit the officers or our department to handle the various situations that we face day to day. In 2023, we handled 40,222 calls for service. Of those, only 383 resulted in a reportable use of force. That is less than 1% of incidents handled by the Wausau Police Department resulted in a reportable use of force. Another responsibility of the lead tactical officer is training. Each sworn law enforcement officer is required to have 24 hours of training each fiscal year. Our officers provide in-house training through Law Enforcement Standard Board instructor ratings as well as other specialized training that they have attended. Our in-house instructors had 880 hours of instructing time. That broke down to 22 hours per officer of in-person training as well as 21 briefing trainings for an additional 10 hours of training per officer. For a total of 32 hours per officer of in-house training for 2023. The Wausau Emergency Police Unit assists the department with traffic and crowd control during major events. This unit consists of 18 members varying in age from 18 years old to over 70. Last year, the unit assisted at 19 events and volunteered over 1,700 hours. This unit is essential to keeping members of our community safe and ensuring everyone can enjoy their time at the many events our city has to offer. The community service officers, most known as CSOs, are non-sworn officers who are employed during the summer by our department. In 2023, the police department had a total of 16 CSOs. CSOs assist in patrolling our city streets and parks by bicycle, moped, or on foot. 
CSOs can handle minor complaints and issue parking and municipal tickets. In 2023, CSOs worked a total of 5,743 hours. Hi, I'm Susan Lang, Office Manager of the Police Department's Record Bureau. We are a team of four administrative assistants and one office manager. Our team handles a significant volume of data, paperwork, photos, and body cameras all generated by our 80 sworn officers. We strive for excellence with efficient handling of records to ensure transparency and accountability. This team is also responsible for processing open record requests for the public. Last year, we processed over 2,400 requests, many of which are linked to numerous cases and produced over 25,000 pages of written documents that were released to the public. Additionally, there were over 270 body camera requests resulting in reviewing over 650 hours of video prior to releasing. Our team is typically the first point of contact for our customers at the police department. We are resourceful and always willing to help our customers' needs. The Community Resource Unit is a unit designed to identify and target underlying conditions that give rise to chronic nuisance activities that diminish the quality of life in our community. The unit has evolved since it began in 2013, and it is now comprised of four officers and one lieutenant. Over the years of trying to improve the quality of life for our citizens regarding nuisance properties, it was quickly determined the overwhelming majority of the residences negatively impacting our neighborhoods were due to drug use and drug trafficking. In 2023, the Wausau Police investigated 27 overdoses, 10 of which resulted in fatalities. Many of these investigations ended in charges and arrests of multiple individuals. Also in 2023, the Community Resource Unit partnered with the Marathon County Sheriff's Office and the Marathon County District Attorney's Office in an effort to grow a diversion and deflection program. This program was designed to give low-level offenders assistance and maintain sobriety with the use of inpatient and outpatient treatment, as well as other programming that is tailored to that specific individual, in lieu of going through the typical route of the criminal justice system. This program continues to grow and has already shown great success. In 2023, the Community Resource Unit executed 17 residential search warrants and seized over 3.5 pounds of methamphetamine, over 13 pounds of marijuana, and seized other illegal street drugs to include cocaine, heroin, fentanyl, and psilocybin mushrooms. Our unit made over 140 arrests, resulting in over 200 felony charges. As a reminder, if you wish to remain anonymous and report suspected drug activity in your neighborhood, please call or email the Marathon County Crime Stoppers tip line. In 1997, the Wausau Police Department Canine Unit was formed with our first dog. Since then, 16 different dogs have served our community, and we now have four dogs active on duty. Each dog team participates in 16 hours of routine training per month and an annual recertification test for approximately 200 hours of annual training. In 2023, they had approximately 250 deployments for their use. The largest request of our dogs is to detect narcotics on vehicles during traffic stops. This past year, that has resulted in some outstanding drug seizures removing dangerous methamphetamine and heroin from our streets, in addition to finding weapons. Our canine program would not be possible without the outstanding community support we receive from individuals and businesses. In 2023, our largest donors were VCA Companion Care, who provides low-cost veterinary care for our dogs, and Marathon Town & Country, who provides free dog food for our dogs. Thank you. So this 2023 uh, video annual report is our first attempt at this. I hope you found it interesting. I hope you've learned a little bit more about the police department, what we do, and why we do it. And I look forward to the opportunity to work with this community and continue to provide additional information to you.